नमस्कार एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अनादर मॉड्यूल इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल स्टडी द नेशनल टूरिज्म अवार्ड विनर्स एंड द सक्सेस स्टोरीज ऑफ द स्टेट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सिक्किम गुजरात इन उत्तराखंड द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल वुड बी understanding the role of state tourism development corporation in award winning performance of tourism in madhya pradesh role of state tourism development corporation in award winning performance of tourism in gujarat in the state of sikkim and in the state of uttarakhand let us now begin with the madhya pradesh also called as heart of incredible india as a state came being in the way in 1956 the state has been nicknamed as the heart of india mainly due to its central location and its rich heritage one of the longest inhabited cities of india ujjain has been under township since 800 bce the city has served as a capital of avanti kingdom malwa karusha darsana and nishada during 6th century bc Ujjain played a significant role in the second wave of Indian urbanization. Madhya Pradesh western areas have catholic sites belonging to Kayatha and Malwa culture. Madhya Pradesh is a state of vivid culture, historical places, hill station and rich wildlife experiences. With three world heritage sites, plenty of national parks and wildlife sanctuary, it is true adventure destination of central India which has something for everyone. Best way to explore the wildlife of the state is to opt for jeep safari available at all the national parks. Famous for innumerable monuments, exquisitely carved temples, stupas, forts and palaces on hill tops raise in the visitor's mind of empires and kingdoms of the great warriors and builders, poets and musicians, saints and philosophers of Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism and Islam. Three sites in Madhya Pradesh have been declared heritage sites by UNESCO. The Khajuraho group of monuments 1986, Buddhist monuments at Sachi 1989, the rock shelter of Bhimbetka in 2003. The Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board also referred to as the MPTB with a tagline God made Madhya Pradesh beautiful, we made it comfortable. Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board established in 2017 with an objective to promote tourism in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Development of tourism with public private partnership in sustainable manner, investor facilitation, skill development, publicity and promotion of tourist destinations nationally and internationally, identification and development of tourism infrastructure are the core objective of the board. A state of art tourist reception center come headquarters of the Madhya Pradesh tourism is easily the most visible symbol of resurgence in the tourism sector of the state buzzing with activity and positive energy a visitor to this building would appreciate the rapid strides in the tourism taken by the state in a very short time frame Also when it comes to exploring the richness and diversity of the state Madhya Pradesh no doubt emerged out to be one of the best in all aspects popularly known as the tiger state of india the state already holds three major unesco sites in the last few years the government of madhya pradesh has initiated a number of major to position the state as a leading tourism state while considering work has been done and the state now been recognized as one of the leading tourism states of the nation much more still needs to be done following are the various aspects which the madhya pradesh tourism has covered aggressive public private partnership projects infrastructure development better use of technology in tour package designing and user friendly website and informative apps innovation and development good research and publication are key to it Now if we look at the National Tourism Awards winner 16 and 17 here we have few list the Madhya Pradesh won the best state for adventure tourism award the swachhta award goes to indore city in the madhya pradesh excellence in the foreign language publication goes to madhya pradesh excellence in publishing in english kahna coffee table book has won the best heritage city won by mandu in madhya pradesh 
सिविक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन कैटेगरी बी हैज़ गॉन टू ओंकारेश्वर बेस्ट एयरपोर्ट इंदौर बेस्ट हेरिटेज वॉक इंदौर बेस्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ गाइड मिस्टर राधिका प्रसाद उमरे एंड बेस्ट हेरिटेज होटल देवबा गुजरात by this we can say that by doing a planned approach towards the development of tourism within a short span of time you can achieve a lot in terms of tourism influx the next state which has left the pug mark in the development of the tourism and created a brand by itself is gujarat formed in 1978 the tourism corporation of gujarat limited tcgl provides comprehensive travel assistance and services to the tourists coming to visit gujarat some of the services of tcgl include accommodation conducted tours and ground transport with a wide range of choice to meet diverse needs the corporation has a network of 18 accommodation units and 5 cafeterias under the brand name toran Gujarat today offers a wide range of most spectacular attractions which includes breathtaking locations and scenic landscapes. Gujarat is also the melting point of several civilization resulting in a vibrant culture and a rich heritage. Gujarat is home to the unique with its exceptional archaeological sites, several architectural marvels and witness of its glorious history and pilgrim centers for many faiths. Finally it is also the land of several mythological and historical figures like the legendary Krishna and Mahatma Gandhi the epistle of non violence the effective development in infrastructure undertaken by the corporation has helped the state to increase the number of tourists to gujarat the efforts in promoting tourism infrastructure in keeping with the spirit of the state its people its natural environment have won the corporation such prestigious awards as the national tourism awards 5 6 for the best kept monument champane and excellence in publication collateral Located on the westernmost parts of Indian coastline, bestowed with beautiful beaches, mountain, vast sand deserts, thick forest covers and rich wildlife. Historically, it has been the center of Indus Valley civilization. Has innumerable monuments of architectural and archaeological importance. temples and shrines of great religious significance. Colorful lifestyle of the people of Gujarat. wildlife centuries fascinating handicrafts mouth watering cuisines it is also the birthplace of mahatma gandhi and sardar vallabh bhai patel iconic figures of india's independence movement if we talk about the usps of gujarat tourism the state tourism has worked to improve the basic infrastructure like roads power rail airports etc it has developed variety of attractions including heritage sites beaches archaeological sites leisure activities wildlife hills etc people in the gujarat have very high buying power in the state they have a high standard of living very large non resident gujarat population visiting gujarat it has a variety of flora and fauna well developed port network for cruises to dock virgin places for the development of eco tourism like parotan islands government policies of promotion of private sector gujarat tourism and the state board are working continuously to make gujarat among the top 5 tourist states of india in terms of local national and international tourist footfalls by 2025 the department is also working to attract the my segment by creating conventions exhibitions facility and support infrastructure to leverage innovative forms of tourism such as adventure cruise even based inland waterways medical and other it also provides tourism infrastructure in terms of tourism information transport services accommodation and wayside amenities the state tourism has also developed ICT in the sector and further improve the quality of its services it's also working to upgrade the skills knowledge and professionalism and promote employment opportunities for additional 2 million persons by 2025 the department is also working to promote responsible tourism in the state and develop tourism products in an environment friendly manner The tourism department is also working to create an enabling framework for public private partnerships in developing tourism products projects and services. 
The various marketing strategies adopted by the department includes dynamic tourism policy with an aim to make the state a prime attraction for Indian and foreigner travelers. Developing more airports of the state, developed 41 large and small ports, worked to lay out a road network, increased private sector partnership in building large tourism-related infrastructure projects. Gujarat tourism has always attracted the filmmakers to shoot films. Tourism Corporation of Gujarat Limited also set up a stall at the Canes Film Festival, an integrated tourism development plan for 37 destination is already working. Since 2010 January, the Gujarat tourism has signed Amitabh Bachchan to promote the state. His credibility as a brand ambassador is very strong since he is a superstar across the globe. Reason for choosing him was of course the PR coverage and the higher degree of recall value. Since he becoming the brand ambassador, destinations like Dwarka, Somnath and Gir National Park are seeing double-digit growth in tourist arrivals including 30% increase in foreign tourists. The tagline Khushbu Gujarat ki, TV, radio, print and outdoor advertising are the prime concerns of the Gujarat tourism marketing strategies. Gujarat is present in the major in-flight and travel magazines of repute. Campaign has run on TV, radio, print or outdoor everywhere and it cannot be missed. The other marketing strategies adopted by Gujarat tourism includes joint promotions with states to get together and offer better packages to the tourists and understand their needs. Gujarat is also tying up with Karnataka and other states for co-branding. Road shows were organized in Maharashtra promoting the Satpura Monsoon Festival. Metro train branding, they took over an entire Reliance Metro Airport Express train. Gujarat Tourism ad covered these coaches for a period of three months, spreading flavors of Gujarat across Delhi. If we talk about the awards and accolades, the Gujarat has won a number of accolades. In 2016, Travel Trade Journal Jury Choice Awards. 16 only, Gujarat Tourism for Innovative Tourism Product. In 16, Better Holidays Award. In 16, by Holiday IQ, Somnath, Grand Winner in the Spiritual Category. In 2015, Travel Awards. 2015 again, Condé Nast Traveler Award. In 2013, 14 national awards by the Government of India, Best State in Comprehensive Development of Tourism, Best Film Promotion Friendly State, Best Rural Tourism Project Ranutsa, Best Tourism Promotion and Publicity Material, Gujarat's 50 Golden Destination Coffee Table Booklet, National Tourism Award by Government of India, 1314 is also won by Gujarat, Most Film Friendly State for its efforts to ease the shooting of the films. If we talk about the success story, the Ran Utsav, surreal to be true, Ran Utsav gives one of the experience of enchanting desert life, colorful kachi culture and breathtaking beauty of the nature. Ran Utsav lasts for around four months from November to February. The festival provides employment to approximately 1,000 local inhabitants and it is one of the most popular festivals across the globe. The another success story in the Gujarat tourism is International Kite Festival, one of the most prominent internationally talked about and loved kite festival. A global event wherein master kite flyers visit Gujarat from all over the world, as many as 31 countries to participate in the event. Gujarat now enjoys being the biggest manufacturer of kites in India. The festival has resulted in the increased contribution of Gujarat. 40% to the Indian kite industry. The festival led to Gujarat kite industry's annual turnover crossing the US dollar 100 million mark. The another feather added to the cap of tourism in Gujarat is the tallest iconic structure, Statue of Peace, with a height of 182 meters, is the largest in the world. With the taglines Vibrant Gujarat, Khushbu Gujarat Ki, the Gujarat tourism has proven its brand value through its colors and vibrancy all over the world. The next state is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand, a state in northern India crossed by Himalayas, is known for its Hindu pilgrimage sites. Rishikesh, a major center for yoga study, was made famous by the Beatles in 1968 visit. The city hosts the Evening Ganga Aarti, a spiritual gathering on the sacred Ganges River. The state forested Jim Corbett National Park shelters Bengal tigers and other native wildlife. 
Rigveda, the most ancient of the sculpture, says, There is no happiness for him who does not travel. The fortune of him who is sitting sits. It rises when he rises. It sleeps when he sleeps. It moves when he moves. Therefore, vendor. International tourism has increased exponentially since the last decade in Uttarakhand state and it continues to grow. The state is working hard to place itself in the international tourism map of the world. Uttarakhand is known as the spiritual and adventure capital of the country. Uttarakhand state is not a newcomer to the international tourism market. In fact, it is one of the traditional and powerful competitors in the international tourism market. Its abundance of natural resources, beautiful mountains, rich cultural heritage, forests, agriculture, industry, multiculture and diversity of people of plains and hills, weather variations in different districts, holy shrines like the Chardham and the other attributes make Uttarakhand state very attractive and charming to international tourists. State of Uttarakhand came into existence as the 27th state of Indian Republic on 9th November 2000. The tourism not only contributing for over 50% of the total GSDP from 2006-7 to 16-17, but also providing livelihood across all parts of the state. As the state moves on its vision to become a green economy, tourism sector will play an important role in realizing the state's socio-economical goals. The number of tourists visiting Uttarakhand has consistently increased from around 19.45 million in 2006 to 31.76 million in 2016 and registered CAGR of 5.03%. A recent World Tourism and Travel Council report has pegged India as the seventh largest tourism economy globally in terms of absolute size and further forecast to grow at 7% between 17 and 2027. And the state Uttarakhand is expected to match this trend in terms of tourist arrivals. Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board is the highest body to advise the government on all matters relating to tourism in the state. The statutory body is chaired by the Tourism Minister of the Government of Uttarakhand and Chief Secretary of Uttarakhand is its Vice Chairman. The Principal Secretary and Secretary Tourism act as Chief Executive Officer. It also has five non-official members from the private sectors and experts in tourism-related matters. The board also functions as a regulatory and licensing authority. If we talk about the mission and vision of the department, the mission and vision is to place Uttarakhand on the tourist map of the world as one of the leading tourist destinations and to make Uttarakhand synonymous with tourism to develop the manifold tourism-related resources of the state in an eco-friendly manner with active participation of the private sector and the local host communities, to develop tourism as major source of employment and income revenue generation as a pivot of the economic and social development in the state. Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board introduced the first tourism policy for the state in 2001 with the objective of establishing the world-class infrastructure, attracting private sector for infrastructure development and identification of new tourism destination. In 2000 and 2001, the National Awards for Tourism by Ministry of Tourism, Government of India. In 2004, state government won the award for best practices under Birinder Singh Garhwal Tourism Self-Employed Plans. Government of Ministry Tourism India also gave. In 2004, it received the award for Best State Tourism Board Express in Galileo Awards, Best Domestic Tourism Award given by Hospitality India National Magazine. In 2007, it won the award of Tourist Destination Religious Tourism Award given by Honorable Cabinet Tourism Minister to Uttarakhand Tourism Minister in 2007. In 2012, it received the award for Best Emerging Destination by Leisure Magazine. In 2013, Best Destination for Adventure by Lonely Planet Magazine. The Uttarakhand Tourism Development Board is keen to see the state among the country's top five places by making it preferred destination for both domestic and foreign tourists. As far as the marketing campaign is considered, the State Tourism Board is participating in trade fairs across the globe to attract both foreign and domestic tourists.
The idea is to strengthen its relationship with travel and tour operators who play a significant role in promoting a destination. In the tourist circles, the state formed on November 9, 2000 is known for adventure spots like rafting, skiing, paragliding, pilgrim spots like Char Dham and the route to Kailash Mansarovar, besides ecotourism spots like Jim Corbett National Park, Nanda Devi National Park, leisure destinations such as Nainital and Masuri. If we talk about the brand image and brand logo, it consists of one letter. The free-flowing form of the letter is inspired by its Devanagari and Roman version. The form represents two feelings, excitement and vibrancy. The free-rising form in the logo represents the Himalayan peaks dotting the state. The letter logo has three colors. Blue represents snow, covered mountains and water. Green symbolizes fauna, the wildlife. And saffron emphasizes religious importance and value of the state. The word of the tagline of Uttarakhand tourism is just three words which says Uttarakhand simply heaven. The another state that we'll be discussing is Sikkim. Small but beautiful. Yes, that's the tagline for it. Sikkim has now transformed itself into a world-class tourist destination. Be it agriculture, cleanliness, health and education, it has set a benchmark for other states to follow and tourism is no exception. As testimony to this, Sikkim has been receiving awards and recognition both at the national and the international level. The importance of domestic tourism was recognized by the public policy makers in 1990s and also in the Tourism Action Plan of 1997. It was decided that the domestic tourism would be the state government issue and the central government would take care of the international tourists. In 2002, India came up with a new tourism policy, which sought to highlight tourism's contribution to national development and its role as the development tool. If we talk about the tourism in Sikkim, state profile in Sikkim, the hidden land for many years came into light after it became the 22nd state of country in 1975. Previously a tiny kingdom tucked away in an unaccessible corner of the eastern Himalayas, an air of mystery and mysticism surrounds this small state. Located in the northeast of India, Sikkim is landlocked spread across 7096 kilometers that shares three international borders with Nepal in the west, Bhutan in the east and Tibet, autonomous region of China in north and east. The West Bengal lies to south of the Sikkim. In 2002, it joined the Northeastern Council to become its eighth and youngest member. Sikkim is wholly mountainous, with one-third of its area lying about 3,000 meters, of which a large portion is covered by snow-capped peaks, glaciers, alpine meadows. This natural steep topography is determining factor for the state vis-a-vis -vis and a use pattern connectivity issue and infrastructural development. The climate of Sikkim is highly varied due to the factors related to wide range of elevation and also partly due to diverse configuration of surrounding higher mountains, valleys and water bodies. The average temperature of the state varies from sub-zero during winters to 28 degrees centigrade during summers while precipitation varies from 2,700 mm to 3,200 mm. With a population of 6,10,577 in 2011, Sikkim is the least populous of India. Sikkim population is largely rural and over 60% of the population is directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture and allied sectors. Sikkim's literacy rate has had a remarkable jump, less than 7% in 1951 to 82% in 2011. Now, we will talk about the tourism development in Sikkim. The growth of tourism in Sikkim tracing the growth of tourism in the state prior to its merger with India. Tourist inflows to Sikkim were negligible. Even after merger, growth was slow till the 1980s as large areas remained inaccessible or restricted to tourists. It was only in the last decade of the century that tourism growth picked up considerably and as more areas came under the relaxation of the permit regime and Sikkim gained popularity as an upcoming tourist destination. 
Tourism saw a big boost between 2010 and 2017 with tourist arrival figures equaling and suppressing the state population. Today, tourism is fast evolving as one of the most important drivers of the state economy. Tourism centers and circuits began slowly developing from Gantok and gradually extended to Rabong, Peling, Yuksan, Lachung and Lachain. Adventure tourism in the form of trekking along the Yuksam, the Zongri, Goechela Trail, which had begun in the pre-merger days to pick up. Around 1988, the state government took a decision to allow tourists to visit Sumanga Lake. Located at the distance of only 35 kilometers from the Gangtok, the capital town Sumanga became the closest accessible destination to experience snowfall for tourists coming from West Bengal. This was followed by opening up Nathula, which gave visitors an opportunity to go right up till the Chinese border point, this ancient mountain pass. Similar relaxation of permits in West Sikkim, Zuluk in East Sikkim, and Guru Dong Mar Lake and Yumthang Valley and Yumsang Dong in North Sikkim witnessed a surge of tourist flows to these areas. With a flourishing tourism industry that was on one hand veered towards mass tourism, Sikkim also pioneered in creating an ecotourism pathway, weaving in principles of strong community participation as well as nature and cultural conversation on the other. In 2002, the South Asian Regional Conference on Ecotourism was organized by the International Ecotourism Society and Ecotourism and Conservation Society of Sikkim with support of UNDP and the Ministry of Tourism. This was a milestone in introducing the concept of ecotourism to Sikkim and the Northeast region in defining community-based tourism in the state. Since that, the state of Sikkim is following that. Few different parts like Kwezing, Yuksam, Dodzungu, Pastanga were some of the first community-based tourism sites that evolved as a result and established themselves. The core competent of these community-based tourism initiatives was the Village Homestays, a new tourism product that has ensured spread of tourism benefits to local communities. Since then, the government has taken several initiatives to support village tourism and ecotourism, including the notification of Sikkim Ecotourism Policy in 2001 and Sikkim Registration of Homestay Established Rules in 2013, and more recently, the construction of 736 homestays by the Department of Tourism Government of Sikkim under the Rural Tourism Program funded by the 13th Finance Commission in different villages all over the Sikkim. Tourist arrival has seen an unprecedented growth in the last three decades, from mere 15,000 tourists in 1980 to a whooping of 14 lakh 24,965 tourists in 2007. The growth has indeed tremendous. Domestic tourists grew at an annual average rate of 10 to 25 percent for the period of 2005 to 17. Foreign tourist growth has shown an annual growth rate of 8% from 2005 to 13. State-wise domestic tourist breakup shows that the top 5 state visitors to Sikkim are from West Bengal, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh. West Bengal by itself constitutes around 55% of the tourist. Among foreign tourists, the most foreign tourist visiting Sikkim are from Nepal, USA, Germany, UK, France and Thailand and Australia. In terms of proportion of domestic and foreign tourists, the figures shows an overwhelming average of 95% in favor of domestic tourists for the past 5 years. The department has also made lots of efforts in building capacities of local stakeholders in the tourism sector through regular trainings such as guides training for tracking, bird watching, mountaineering and rafting, cooks, adventure tour operators, etc. The establishment of the Institutes of Hotel Management in Rumte and the Indian Himalayan Center for Adventure and Ecotourism in Chemche have strongly contributed to these initiatives. various steps of e-governance facilities such as online permits feedbacks has also helped the tourism in sikkim to go for a boom resulting winning a number of awards and accolades which you can see in the next slide by this we have come to the end of this module and we have understood 
the various efforts done by the state tourism development organization in terms to promote the tourism in the state of Sikkim, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Uttarakhand. Thank you for watching.